you look at this, fresh out of the bush, dumped straight into the big smoke, Sydney Harbour. I'm Richard Musgrave Evans and today we're looking across Mosman Bay, across Sydney Harbour. Fantastic location. Picked up a dusty horizon, a bit more of a burnt centre grey, because there's a fair bit of particles in the atmosphere here, being uh, down in the smog country. It's more of a grey horizon, even though it's a sunny day. It's not too bad. What a fantastically quiet little pocket of uh, Sydney Harbour. Great view. Not really that many people around to disturb you. There's a few noises, mind you, but other than that, pretty good. It's a very different subject painting on the harbour. What you get here is a very hazy, smoggy atmosphere. So when looking across, everything is hazed out much more than, say, in the outback when you've got very clear light. What do I detect? Some company yeah, coming. I know from South Australia is Alfie Hannaford. Yeah? I've got the camera going there too. I'm filming this. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah. Where are you from? Oh, I'm living in the Adelaide Hills at the moment, but also in Corn in the Flinders Ranges. Yeah, cool. Yeah, right. Dane Burden used to have a shop there where his father did. Yeah. Yeah. So you live across there, do you? Yeah. You would see a lot of people paint here, I guess. I do. <laughs> <laughs> You'd probably say me paint here because I painted here probably about eight years ago. Did you? Someone yeah. come over and talk to me. It could be. Well, probably me. I've, <laughs> I've lived here for 45 years. So. Yeah, right. This is all done with palette knife rather than brushes. Yeah, I know. Well, I, I, I'm into that. Yeah. I'm a very abstracty painter, though. You paint, did you say? Yeah, I do, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I do. This is a good setup you got, though. Yeah, because I do a lot of painting out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, yeah. Hot that. weather and whatever, so it's good to have the whole thing. Yeah. I think you put your swag out here and be comfortable. It's actually amazing, this little corner of Sydney, how, how you know, quiet it is, just this little pocket. That's the garbage. Yeah. <laughs> just this little pocket. That's a hit. When we came here, it was sort of a forgotten part. Yeah, right. It's gradually becoming a little more trendy, but uh, we're going to get ruined in the next 10 years, unfortunately. Yeah. If you go for a wander All right. up here and have a look over the cliff there, you'll see what I mean. Oh, right, okay. Four storeys high and built over 100% of the side. Yeah? Bit of a shame, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Oh, I'm originally, originally a South Australian. Are you? Whereabouts were you? My apologies for all the background noise. I'm going to have to work on a better microphone system. So do you need any water or anything? Yeah. No, I'm all good. I've got everything. Thanks for that. Okay.
Where do you, where do you stay when you're in Sydney? Well, I actually did a big commission painting. I came over to do a commission painting in, in Paddington. Mm -hmm. Eight foot by eight foot. So I just finished that. And uh, I'm waiting for it to dry enough so I can sign it tomorrow. <laughs> so I thought I'd come and <laughs> come do, do a fill in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which is, uh, yeah, it's good. I met him over in the Flinders Rangers when I was having an exhibition there at Ikebar Woolshed. Oh yeah, yeah. And last winter and he came over and then we organised to do this commission work when he was ready for it. So I came over. Now it's done. Yeah, I went up there about three years ago through corn and oh, yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I think it's a nice cleaner. Got a little bin just here, I'll start putting these in. Excuse me. Yeah. Hello, he's got some Telstra rope. <laughs> yeah, Telstra rope. <laughs> Good luck. Alright, thanks very much. Time to roll up the sleeves and get into it. Okay, got the garbo bin. Garbo's driving around. Let's get that paint mixed up and really start to get the work happening. going to put a little bit of that slack water sheen on the water where the wind isn't catching and you get that beautiful reflective quality of the sky. Just trying to get the essential bulk colours and tones in before I start putting all the fun stuff in. Working on a few downward marks to create the illusion of reflections there. Yeah, it's a great subject. Can't wait to uh, start putting all those boats and buildings in. Now I've got the shadow side of the foliage in here. I'll put some light over the top. I don't know if you can hear that garbage truck. Right? All the yellow light guard. It's actually quite amazing how little amount of traffic I get here or people walking past. I mean, we're right in the middle of Sydney here and uh, seriously, it is a very quiet little pocket. Uh, as I was saying, by the way, what is that banging noise? Okay, where's that small and all?
does putting in a few of the skyscrapers on the other side of the harbour with a nice little knife it's actually great because it's very hazed down out there so you can use the real keyed down version of what we're looking at the knife actually works quite well for this you can just see the little buildings starting to form and over here to balance the composition there we go get the bigger knife out we're in the shadows of the building here on the other side of the harbour Got some of the foreground folding in. Are the sounds of Sydney. Here we go, here goes the fun part, putting the buildings and the highlights and all the light tones in. Just getting the edge of the headland in there. Time to put the lighthouse at the head of the point. 
Ramon Point is a beautiful headland that juts out into the harbour. Very humid here today. Now I'm just applying some of the shadow tones of the yachts before I put the highlight colours on them. There's a beautiful little jetty there where the ferry pulls up, just dropping that one in. Adding some of those lovely little boats, uh, that's a bit of fun, really brings the painting together. Mixing up a rooftop colour, that beautiful terracotta colour. Beautiful red roofs over here. They really add highlights and make the painting pop. It's amazing, adding those little buildings with the palette knife really pulls the painting in.
bit more work on those buildings and the painting is really starting to come together now. down now because I'm going to paint some buildings on the other side right up on the other side in the distance the haze is keying it right there Using a lower key version of the foreground to really make the distance recede. Smearing some of the foreground just to uh, soften and uh, make the focal points stand out. Bringing some more boats into the subject to add a bit more interest, those little yachts really make the painting work. Remove some of the excess paint and uh, make a bit of room for the highlights. Got to have a nice clean palette. Putting some nice fine vertical marks in for the uh, rigging on the yachts it really refines the painting. Knife on edge. Verticals.
Do some downward marks to get the reflections of those yachts. Just pull down through the wet paint. Fine horizontal line for a power boat just moving along in the distance. Okay, well that's about it. The bulk of the uh, picture is there. I'll take the camera off and let you have a look at it. No worries. Okay, let's come in and have a close look at the completed painting. Now, you can see it's quite spontaneous. There's all the lovely colours and the, uh, like I said, the buildings and the boats really uh, pull it together. So you can still be quite broad, but give the illusion of detail when you stand back. Now, across the uh, harbour here, I've keyed everything down to give that 3D effect could be because there's a smog haze between us and the other side of the harbour key it down you get that really 3D effect well there you go that's about the whole thing now remember if you like the video to like the video forward it on to your friends and subscribe until next time see you down the road cheers <laughs>